welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make copper, tin, and bronze. And at the end of the video, I'll show you important items you can craft to help you out on your journey. Okay, let's get started. First thing we're going to need is ores, and you can mine them in the desert south of Galesville. The second thing we need is a fire pit, and I'll show you on screen the materials needed to build one. The third thing is a clay bowl. You only need five clay and you can get it by digging on water tiles. And the last thing we need is wood. And make sure you get a lot of wood because we're needed to melt and make a lot of metal. Making copper is really easy. You want to drop the clay bowl underneath you, then drop the desired amount of green ore onto the bowl. Next, you want to face the fire pit, drop a single wood, then drop the clay bowl onto it. Making tin is the same thing. You want to drop the clay bowl, drop the ore, face the fire pit, drop the wood, and then the clay bowl. Waiting on my copper and tin to finish because we're going to need them to make our bronze. Okay, it's really easy. You want to drop the clay bowl, drop the tin and the copper on the same bowl. Now, the amount of bronze coming out is going to be the average of copper and tin. In this case, I dropped one copper, one tin, and the average of that is one bronze. If you notice, my smelting skill goes up, and the higher that skill is, the more you'll get out of the ores. I'll be making a future video on how to level up your smelting skill really fast. Welcome to the second part and here I'm going to show you the top three things you need to craft to help you on your journey. The first one I want to show you is the mining ring. The ring will increase your chopping and mining skills by six and you can equip up to two of these rings. So in total you'll get 12 chopping and 12 mining. So this will definitely help you farm uh, wood and stone. Okay, moving on to our second item, that is the lock. You can lock a couple of items to have them safe, but it's not a guarantee as people can loot the lock once per day. Also keep in mind, your tribe members can open up your lock freely. If you really want your items super safe, I recommend storing your materials, your gold, books, gear in another account where no one can ever touch them. The last item on our list is the magnifying glass and everyone should carry one at all times. With it, you can check general details on the walls, items, who owns it, HP, as well as the quantity. It's also great for detective work, finding clues on the person who has raided a base or anything like that. So that's it. I'll be making a future video on how to make iron and steel, so look out for that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.